Since he's trying one, I'm going to try one too. Not, not good at all. Mm -mm. She's a big girl. She's probably like 60 pounds, 70 pounds. Oh yeah, we got a big one right here. Look at that. Oh, look, it just exploded. Look at what's up everyone and welcome back to another episode a lot of you guys have seen that i had some ticks on my tortoises so i've actually treated the yard several times and the ticks i'm pretty sure are away a couple days ago i found a few more treated the yard again but i'm just going to do an update on the tortoises we're going to go around we're going to check them we're going to make sure everyone is tick free last time we found some absolutely massive ticks i mean they were like this big they were huge, bigger than I've ever seen before. So maybe we'll find some. I actually like finding them, even though it's not good for the animals, but we'll find out. So before I so before I get started with looking for any of the ticks, I do have to pick a winner for the radiated tortoise. So I scrolled through all the comments and the name I liked best the was Chad Love the, the Rad. So big shout out to Chad the Rad. Check him out, he is absolutely gorgeous. So his new name is Chad, let's hope he turns out to be a boy. I can't tell right now, so 50-50. But anyways, even if it's a girl, it's gonna be Chad. Chad is doing absolutely amazing in his new home. I actually took out the other little thingy majigger bobber that was there before. So we just have him with his hut, his water dish, his food, simple setup, look at him. He's going to drink. Chad the rat, Chad the man. And again, shout out to Hunter Dean for the name. I love it. So now that I did pick a name for the radiated tortoise, Mr. Chad the Rad, we're gonna be looking for ticks now. So I got my trusty pliers right here. Tweezers, pliers, same thing. So we can find these ticks and hopefully there's none, but I have a feeling we're gonna find a few. What's up, homie? How you doing? You doing good? I'm glad. So this is the first one we're gonna check out. The Galapagos, the small one that had those giant ones last time. So if you guys haven't seen that video, I'm gonna put it in the description, so go check out the very first tick video. This guy had absolutely massive ticks. Hopefully he doesn't have any, I don't think he does, but we gotta find out. The first thing I noticed when I flipped him over is look, there's another tick right there. Oh, you almost hit my phone, what are you doing? So we're gonna open these pliers up, we're gonna pull it off right now. I know, I'm gonna get that off, I'm sure it's uncomfortable for you. Come on. With ticks, you gotta grab them right by the head. Come on, can I see in there? Can I please, can I, can you open your leg? Please, come on, I'm trying to help you. Come on, no. Well, in the meantime, we're gonna check this side. Doesn't look like we have ticks underneath right there. Don't think we have any. I'm gonna check in a second. I checked his entire body and the only tick that I can find is the one that was right there. That's a great sign. That means there's not that many ticks left in the yard or at least in his enclosure, which is great news because the ticks can be very harmful for their health. So I'm just gonna leave him, come on. Yeah, I know. It's uncomfortable for him to be flipped over like this. So we're gonna try to get this tick off right now. Come on. So I'm latched onto the tick right now. All I gotta do is just pull, pull. Oh, look at that. One more tick off the tortoise. Did we get his head? Yeah. Man, these guys are just gnarly. When you squeeze them, they'll pop normally. Oh my gosh, so gross and creepy. Take a look at this tick right here. We're gonna actually put them right here and we're gonna pop them and see what comes out of them. Ooh, look at that black sludge. Ooh, ooh, so gross. It's like full of blood and blackness, black death blood. I don't know what you want to call it. Just pretty nasty stuff. So we're going to go check the bigger galop now, which he's the one that's had overall the most ticks on him. So I'm hoping he doesn't have any. He has free range over the entire yard, so the ticks are probably getting in from the corners of these fences. If the neighbors have the ticks in their yard, the ticks are just gonna keep pouring in. So we're gonna have to have all the neighbors spray their yard so we can get rid of all these nasty ticks. So now that I did check the little baby galop, I'm gonna be here now checking the red foots. It's pretty unlikely that they'll have any. They rarely get them and I've only seen it on them like once. 
but we still got to check since there is still ticks in the yard. Don't see on any there. Don't see any in there. This guy looks like he's good to go. You're next. Come here. Come here. I gotcha. Nothing in there. Let's look at your feet. Nothing. Nothing in your legs. You're good to go. So seeing that two of them didn't have ticks on them, it's pretty unlikely that the rest will have ticks. But we still have to check anyways. We got four more in here. I'm going to check this big boy first. Come here. It's a pain to do this solo, but you got to do what you got to do. No ticks there. No ticks there. And you are clear. You are good to go. Hi. How are you doing? You doing good? Okay, cool. Look at him. He's munching away. How yummy is that? Is that yummy? I don't know. I couldn't eat a leaf. You know what? Let me try one of these. See how they taste. Since he's trying one, I'm going to try one too. Not, not good at all. Mm -mm. That's like all my teeth. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave those for the tortoises. Definitely leaving those for him. They are not tasty at all. Come here, little boy. Come here. Gotcha. Come here. Oh, I still have some of that stuff in my mouth. No ticks and. No ticks, you're clear. So the red foots are clear. So the last guy we are going to check. Ugh, ugh, I had some of that leaf get in my mouth. The last guy we are going to check is the big Galapagos that had a lot of ticks last time. I think he had like four or five. So I'm hoping he's not gonna have any of them. All right guys, so it's, all right guys, so it's sunset right now and we're about to check the big Galapagos tortoise. So she is actually all nestled up in the bushes ready for sleep so we're gonna actually have to drag her out you can see her right in there so it's gonna be an absolute mission to get her out but we'll get it done oh come on oh yeah oh yeah oh, she's a big girl she's probably like 60 pounds 70 pounds she's getting really big we're gonna take her over this way and set her up in the grass. Cut. All right, we got this big girl here. We're gonna flip her over right now. She's trying to get away from me. She wants to go to sleep, but we gotta get these ticks. Come on. Oh yeah, we got a big one right here. Check that out right there. That is a massive tick. This is probably just as big as the other one, one of the biggest ticks that I have ever seen. So this tick is just absolutely massive. It is full of blood and we're gonna actually pull it off right now. We're gonna wait for her. We're gonna wait for her to pull her leg out. And come on. I know it's uncomfortable. Look at that. Oh, look, it just exploded. Look at all that black sludge, just disgusting. Look at it, you can see some of it on him right there. Actually, I didn't get the head of the tick, so that's where all the blood came from its head. Look at that, oh, I'm gonna put that on my finger, just so you guys can see what it looks like. Oh, just absolutely disgusting. Here, let me get it closer to the camera for you guys. That's just all full of nasty blood. I'm gonna try to get the head right now. Oh yeah, I got the head. So now that we got that giant disgusting tick off, we're gonna keep checking the rest of the body. You wanna check literally like every crevice. So he has no ticks up here. We're gonna check this leg. And there's nothing there. Now we gotta check up here, right on his, right up on his feet. I know. 
Oh yeah, there's one right here, right here. See this tick right here? I'm gonna grab it. Oh, look, I have half of the body is still in him. Oh, you got another nasty tick. That tick wasn't as big, but still equally as disgusting. Am I a weirdo for like, I like pulling these off. I think I'm just a total weirdo. It's not good for the animal, but if I could just pull ticks off all day, I just think it's the funnest thing ever. So I checked her entire body. We only got two ticks. One of them was pretty big and the other one was like a medium sized tick. But anyways, that's a good sign that there was only two ticks on her. That means that there isn't that many more ticks in the yard. At one point, I didn't even make a video on it. I pulled probably 30 off of her. So to go from 30 down to two, that's great numbers. That means that the treatment I've been doing in the yard is working and there's only a few left. So we're gonna flip her back over, let her go to sleep. So that is going to conclude yet another episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching it. So I would like to give a special thanks to all of you guys for showing me all the support. We just broke a thousand subscribers about two days ago and I've only been doing this since April 8th on YouTube and we're at about 1200 subscribers now. So thank you guys for the support. I am glad that all of you guys love watching this. I have a blast making it. So if you guys have not already, I want all of you guys to go comment down below what you thought. Give this video a thumbs up as well as subscribe.